guys, I got my camera to work. Woohoo! <laughs> I guess I must have had like a bad batch of uh, batteries or something. So I just tried it again and I got my camera to work. So that saved me $100 for the time being. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a little bit of a life update and talk about my kind of my strategy for NaNoWriMo this year because I might end up pantsing it more than I planned on. <laughs> I'm still kind of roughly outlining but I'm slogging so I might be just kind of pantsing it a little bit more but that's okay. But one of the things I plan on utilizing is something I heard about on Caddy Tastics uh, NaNoWriMo video and I've been watching a few of Cami Garcia's videos and they've both been talking about writing triggers and I figured that that would help. Writing triggers is like you have a certain place or certain things you do that means this is writing time I can do nothing else. So I'm in the big old chair in my living room and I have my laptop here so I don't get tempted with the internet and this is where this has kind of become like my space when I have the day off sometimes I am in the office but that's usually if I have to work on my website or if I want to do a blog post or something then I'll or if Joe's watching something on TV then I'll go in the office if I have to but usually I try and stay here and I have like I said I have my laptop and stuff like that so and then I also kind of have a writing uniform I'm only half in it today because I'm about to go out my sister just called me and we're going to go out to dinner with my dad so I usually have on like a NaNoWriMo t-shirt but I'm currently washing them right now and then I just bought these cool sweatpants and I don't think you can see it but they're Ravenclaw pants and I kind of went on a Ravenclaw spree. I bought this really cute little bow, like hair barrette bow that says Ravenclaw on it. And I have socks, and they're supposed to be knee highs, but they only come up to like mid calf because <laughs> of me. Um, so I probably won't be wearing those too often because they're really tight, um, and I don't want to cut off the circulation of my legs. So yeah. And then I have for my beverages, I have my two uh, cups that are just for writing. So I have my brand new mug and it says, please do not annoy the writer. She may put you in her book and kill you. <laughs> I found this on Amazon. And it's smaller than my normal cups, but that's okay. I also have my Camp Nanorama mug. And then for like cold beverages, especially for water or something, so that I don't want to get dehydrated, I have this really cute mug with my name on it that I got for a bridesmaid gift, actually, um, from my sister when she got married a few weeks ago. It's also part of, part of my survival guide I always keep. Well, Joe and I drink quite a bit of coffee, and so there's always coffee on hand. And I love peppermint mocha creamer. The coffee mate is so good. I put like a third of it, a third of my mug is filled with creamer. And then it's just minty and delicious and I love it. And then I went last night and I spent like $12 on candy. I'm going to be putting in the small fridge in the office so it doesn't melt and it's all nice and cool. So I've got crunch bars and three musketeers and Milky Way and 100 grand. These were all on sale. So I always have my notebooks on hand. I keep a notebook with me at all times so I can write something down. I have character generator apps on my phone and I have like baby name apps on my phone in case I'm stuck on a name if I'm creating a new character 
and I have those. So my plan is to hopefully at least get book three done for NaNoWriMo. I originally said book four as well, but I don't know if I'm going to get that far. Um, but we'll see. I might just have a lot of like rough notes on book four. I have a few ideas, but I really need to like spend a day and sit down and really detailed plan it. But right now, I'm just, I'm trying to work on one story at a time and it's been a slog. <laughs> um, filming wise, I plan on kind of doing what Christina Horner does uh, for her nanos, doing like a brief clip every day and then putting it together at the end of the month because I always enjoy that. And that's about as close as I'm going to be able to do to a daily vlog with work and everything I have going on in the coming month. Thanksgiving and I'm going to my best friend holds a monthly game night so we're going to that and going to the Browns game in the middle of the month and just like whatever comes up <laughs> we'll see what happens. I have doctor's appointments. I'm trying to get my goal again is to try and get done before Thanksgiving because I'm crazy and I have another doctor's appointment with that orth with that orthopedic surgeon so he'll probably be sticking giant needles in my knee again so I will definitely be in no condition to write because it will hurt another exciting thing that's going on um, is also Thursday nights every Thursday night in November we'll be starting up the Panera write-up write-ins um, the meetups at Panera on the west side of the town and I meet with the local NaNoWriMo group and sit there for a couple hours and write and socialize and it's so much fun. I'm going to their kickoff party this weekend on Saturday and I'm trying to uh, get permission to film. If I hear back from the ML and she says it's okay then I will be able to film the panel so I will have a video on that. My wedding dress hunt continues we're actually going Thursday, and that's still October, so we'll see what happens. When we were in PA last week, I found two contenders, and one I'm kind of like, I've kind of changed my mind on, and the other I, I kind of can't get out of my head. But I don't want to give any of that away. Um, now that I have my camera working, I can start vlogging and documenting the whole planning process of my wedding on my other channel. So that'll be fun. Um, so yeah, I think I've gone on long enough. I have to go get into some jeans and a better shirt. Uh, so I can go out to dinner with my dad and my sister. And I have to turn all the lights off because it's really dreary outside. And... I needed light <laughs> to film at this, in this at this angle in this room. So I'll have another video up soon, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Go try! The Indians are in the World Series! Woo! <laughs> and I will have another video up soon, so I'll talk to you guys later. Um oh yeah, which is a cooler spell is available in paperback and ebook. On Amazon, you can also get a signed copy. The links are listed below. My Etsy shop and Amazon and everything like that. And New Witch on Campus is getting closer to being done. I'm waiting for beta feedback. And then I will be sending it to the editor finally. And sometime in 2017, it will be released. And I was actually talking to Joe about doing maybe Cleveland Comic Con in 2018. 18 to sell my books so we'll see what happens that's a long long way away but we'll see so now I'm done <laughs> I will talk to you guys later have a great day bye and I could just kind of like well
जेवण आहे